Alright. It's hot. AC half works. There's no furniture in the living room. I am edging ever closer to my goal of getting temporary furniture in the house. And all I have to do is deceive my roommate just a bit longer. Actually, I think I'm there now. It's just that if I do something which requires a bank and with only one car, I actually tip off like, hey, why are you getting this much money together? Yeah, I'm actually just counter balancing what you just did because other people around you told you to get rid of your shit and you blindly followed them. It's like, it's like you're, you're, you're worried about bed bugs and, uh, uh, yeah, just, just spray your furniture or just put like deodorizer in there or something, you know, just. There were other options available to you at the time. Just, just not what you, uh, what you did was a bit extreme. I know one chair could have went, you know, and I wasn't fussed about that too much, but all three chairs, seriously. And even when a guy, you went to like a guy, said, like, you know, I can like just do some stuff with these chairs to make them look, you know, nicer, but, uh, uh. so basically maybe a hundred dollar fix. Or two hundred, three hundred dollar fix is now a thousand dollar fix. Yeah, this one must delicious a grand chair there. It's just not uh copacetic anymore. Sometimes I can hear this TV, sometimes I can't. Sensor is on the left side. Dogs outside digging a deeper hole because it's hot as shit. Let me kick them out first. Now she's working on me. Snap <laughs> some shit. You go happen at everything, and then after a while, you want to. You know, assume control over the entire flat. That's that's just that doesn't sound right. Say it's a shared living space. But you know, so you wanna be selfish. Well, that's enough about the room made up my bullshit, so let's get back to the game, shall we? Six six six. Oh yeah. I thought I was exciting at the time, but probably not so. I'm only doing this to get my ants health up.
Aloha from sunny California, the mecca of startup companies, apparently. Hey, we're young, hip, and cool people. Let's uh, start a business together. You know? It's like, uh, what's the name of this program? Give me your name. It's called Grand Opening. We bought a cafe. <laughs> By who? Taste me. Okay. Season 1, Episode 2. Oh, so this is like the rise and fall of the start. So right now we're at the, uh, the rise. <laughs> So yeah, everybody's happy, grinning, laughing, playing, doing when the shit hits the fan. When they start betraying each other, that's where the drama happens. It's like reality TV done better. Be a, uh, a statue of Christ, just like in uh, Brazil. Except the one in Brazil looks a lot better. <laughs> this one was in color, so yeah. Kind of took away from the effect a little bit, in my opinion. You know, when I think of California, I think of gluten free and how that term came around, came about, I think, uh, probably mid 2010s. And before that, nobody was talking about gluten. Is, it, is this gluten free? It's like, it's like, uh, what? It's like, what the hell is gluten? It's like, before I talked about it, it's like, a, it's just a West Coast disease that was just made up on the spot by hipsters. <laughs> Maybe there's something to it, maybe not. I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, shit, if it tastes good, eat it. You know if those people really want to kill us, I'm just thinking about it after seeing the same damn enemy type for the time. 
They would have sent like a bunch of those machines down here. Just to me up. I kinda hate fighting flans. They're so fucking terrible, man. Especially the dark flans. Disco ham and a piano, though. A talented pianist. Just like the, uh, that dude in Swan Song. Before he injured his hand. And he was no longer a prodigy. We gotta improve the strength of our crow because right now it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, I don't want to one-shot them, you know, right away, but it's like it's getting to that point where I'm running into so many encounters. It's like if I just one-shot you, basically, uh, yeah, just get you out the way. How many area? Oh no, I don't say that. Don't rush it. Enjoy it. Enjoy your game. It's like a wise man once said on YouTube, it builds computers. It's like enjoy your build because when it's over, that's it. Wait, wait, wait. 
So if you go about things with a sense of passion, it comes out right. But if you go about things with like a sense of urgency and say, like, oh, it needs to be rushed, sometimes things go wrong. Sometimes you miss the screw. Sometimes things don't line up properly. Sometimes you cut yourself in the case. Or in cooking, sometimes you burn yourself. Sometimes you start a small house fire. <laughs> Butcher's daughter. What the what? <laughs> it's like the air from the outside is mixing with the air from the inside, and it's not really working out too well. You know, for a prison, the music's not half bad. <laughs> ah, these guys again. I get to be like a more deadly enemy type in this uh, area. One that you can actually farm properly. Like that cactus thing. Cactar. Or. A Tonberry Phantom. <laughs> oh, we meet him later in the game. Don't worry. We'll get to see all the famous monsters and fiends and characters and the like. Seal you top or Kira. It's like because uh, you need damage dealers. I mean by herself, you know it's like a heavy damage dealer, but uh she kinda of monopolizes the XP, so yeah. Remember the um Thunder Planes? Yeah, we don't want that happening again. <laughs> Between, so I was swapping between like Aeons and oh my god, finally something different. And it's water based. Okay. That's half your health, buddy. Hm. Wow, Orin, you kind of suck at that. <laughs> it's not really a magic user, though, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's 
game is like so random. Like, this character learned A, that character learned B, and that character learned C. And I know your A has to do different attack, like overdrive attacks, but it's like, yeah, I don't have the patience to, you know, kind of farm out like, hey, this learn that. No. <laughs> Besides, AoE is the way to go in battle. Would you like to save your game? Venice Beach. Failure is not an option. I should just something. Uh, no. That's the easy way out. Bomb is always the easy way out. So just some Bahama he'll take care of it in my head. You know, I was gonna say I'm kind of surprised this woman, aka Lulu, hasn't learned her Akas yet, but. She will. She will. Just gonna give her time. Son of a bitch. It healed itself. I'm guessing at this point in the game, if you haven't figured that out by now, you're like, what? You can do that? Sunny side up eggs. Getting to the end of the score. <laughs> Just like, yeah, I'm about to wrap this up. <laughs> we got a black magic. This game really wants you to summon. <laughs>
Lady Yuna. So it is you. Izaru! Why are you here? To stop you. We rode the airship to the Calm Lands, then came to Bevel. Maester Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. You will fight us? The Temple's orders are law. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood, you're a traitor. Bahamut, how do my light work? <laughs> Rhoda and Passe are not here. I will do this unhappy deed myself. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. Two words. Mega flare. <laughs> really? You summon your Ifrit? <laughs> A summoner battle. Really? You know, I'm not Your knocking. Against mine. But if I attack you directly and you die, basically that Aeon goes bye bye. <laughs> Although vice versa can be said too. Oh look at mine! Yeah, they're all powered up too. So uh mm. Who shall I choose? The heart counter or the uh, the wrecking <laughs> the wrecking ball. <laughs> oh. Wrecking crew's here. Fuck his shit up. He's like, what? <laughs> yeah, I just do it. Oh, oh, you go tease him. I like that. You're like, should I? Nah, I'll save it. Oh yeah, that's right. Fire's not weak to water in this game. I think it's weak to ice. Perhaps the lightning type is weak to... water? So you honestly think that's gonna scratch bomb it? I like that he's going all out though. Oh, <laughs> that tickled. So yeah, okay. Any other AI would have killed it, but vomit. Nah, he's special. Bye, bye, Ifrit. <laughs> See you in 15. <laughs> oh, look at this shit. Oh, wait. It's a fail for? It's not over yet. Belfort's weak against everything, so... Plus it can't heal itself. But it's a flyer.
it is like Pokemon right now. It's like, hmm, the heart counter or flyer versus flyer. Because I know Shiva does look cool though when she fights. But since this is an aerial battle, a better prey versus a dragon. 